Hey, how's it going everyone? Kermode here, back with another tutorial. Today I want to show you guys how you can make custom filter shapes inside of Phase Plant. At first it's not super obvious how you can do it, and at first the filtering in Phase Plant actually seems kind of limiting compared to something you may be used to, such as Serum, where you have this long list of more complex filter shapes. That being said, you aren't as limited as you think, and you can sort of kind of draw your own, and in this video I want to show you guys how you can do it. Before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. I'm going to be coming out with weekly tutorials for the next while, so subscribing is, going to, is the easiest way you guys can keep up to date with all that content. But without further ado, let's dive right into it. So right now we have a super basic saw, and if we were to use the simple filter inside of a face plant, you really only have your basic filter types and the ability to maybe get some movement out of it by modulating the cue as well as the cutoff. This is how you can draw your own, however, and it involves using Slice EQ. So Slice EQ is a pretty cool EQ built in here where you can essentially draw your own shapes. So what I'm going to do is just that. I'm going to draw some sort of filter shape. So I'm going to play my saw, and I want to create some sort of nice vowel type shape. So you click to add a dot, and you use your scroll wheel to thin out or thicken the different bells inside of this. So let's create a nice filter shape here. So let's start with something like this. This is our filter here. Now what's really cool is this offset button here, and this is where I want to show you guys this, where this offset button offsets the cutoff where on the frequency spectrum all these different bells and filters exist. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this simplest LFO here, and let's slowly modulate that offset. But let's start with that, and now let's just go ahead and let's add another one. So let's go, let's draw a nice shape here. And this time let's do a few more thin and thick different movements here. Let's make like a really nice kind of vowel-y filtered shape. And let's move this one as well. And what's cool too is at any point, if this is too extreme, you can even turn the mix down for the entire lane. So you get a bit more of the source signal going into the next lane where you could go ahead and introduce another shape. It's so easy. This is what I love about it. Let's really do an intense one here. And let's get this thing moving through the sound as well. And just for fun, you know what, let's just do one more It's because it's this easy. Let's add another slice EQ. Let's add like a really steep kind of resonant end to this. So let's get the kind of the top end talking a little more. Let's add this on. Exact same process. See how all together we just got this super vocal, really in really unique filter shape that you can't just achieve with a regular filter. So super cool. There we go, guys. That's it. It's a short tutorial, but I just want to show you guys that you can create your own custom filter shapes inside of Face Plant. So, I hope you guys like this tutorial. My name is Kermode, and I'll be back soon with another video. Peace. 